The story starts with a massive event called Marvel Axis, where the good guys turn bad and the bad guys turn good. Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, is one of the heroes who remained on the dark side even after the event ended. He decides to retire from fighting crime altogether. Instead, he creates a remarkable suit of armor that can protect him from anything, and an app called Extremist 3.0 that promises to make you the best version of yourself. However, this app costs $100 a day, and if you don't use it, you'll suffer insane withdrawals. As a result, most people get hooked on it instantly. Plus, the app creates a massive divide between the super rich who can afford it and those struggling to get by. But there was one hero who wouldn't stand for it, and that hero was Daredevil. When he heard about this app, he knew he had to put a stop to it. However, Tony wasn't having any of it and grabs him by the throat, throwing him off his tower. Luckily, Daredevil's enhanced senses helped him survive. As he makes his way back up to the surface, he overhears the wild party Tony's guests were having as they all make fun of him. Then, Tony declares that anyone within 50 feet of Iron Man would receive a free dose of Extremist for 24 hours. The next day, people went crazy trying to get it, watching people trample over each other to get their free dose. This game gives Tony a thrill until a man accuses Tony of turning the whole city into drug addicts through his app, causing his son's life to be ruined. In a fit of rage, he pulls out a gun and shoots at Tony's face. But to everyone's surprise, Tony lifts the man up into the sky and calmly explains that his face is covered by see-through metal, and his face is too pretty to be covered by a mask. He can tolerate shooting him in the face, but he's not willing to tolerate any attacks on his product. So he digs up some dirt on the man and uses it to blackmail him into silence. Tony threatens to ruin the man's son's life if he doesn't use his app, but promises that everything will be fine if he does. The man reluctantly agrees, and they both land back on the ground, smiling and pretending that everything is okay. Unfortunately for them, Daredevil had overheard their conversation. After a wild night of partying, Daredevil swings over to Tony's tower and snatches a thoroughly intoxicated Tony. He then takes him to a secure location where Tony wouldn't have access to his Iron Man suit, giving Daredevil the opportunity to question him about what's really going on. Despite Tony's attempts to resist, the room is too dark for him to see making it impossible for him to fight back. However, little did Daredevil know, Tony had actually planned for this and was just waiting for him to take the bait so he could use his superior suit to take down Daredevil with ease. Daredevil wakes up with a strange feeling, which was the ability to see again. He couldn't believe it as he lifted his head in amazement while Tony taunted him by saying, and the first face you get to see is this one. Daredevil sees himself in the mirror again. Iron Man then reveals that he had created a strain of extremists to temporarily send signals through his nerves, and he has to take boosters to keep his vision. He will provide it to him for free. But Daredevil saw it as nothing more than a bribe to get him addicted to extremists like everyone else. He demanded to know what gave Iron Man the right to play God, but Tony just laughed and said, I'm not playing God. All this time, I've been playing human. Iron Man punches Daredevil in the face before leaving, saying... I don't have to justify myself to you. You're so far beneath me. If you choose to be sensible, if you want to keep your sight, you call me, and we'll talk about how to make this a permanent arrangement. If you don't want what I'm offering, don't worry. It will wear off soon, and you can enjoy riding your high horse through your dark, dark world. Daredevil then attempts to catch Iron Man, but instead follows him to the window, where he admires the beautiful view. Later, he arrives at his friend Foggy's doorstep, removing his shades to see his best friend's face one last time before his radar sense returns. Days later, Daredevil returns to Stark Tower with evidence to expose Iron Man and his extremist project. However, he is caught off guard by Iron Man's new symbiotic armor, which consumes him and allows Iron Man to deal with him permanently. Iron Man takes Daredevil to his laboratory and puts him on a table, shocking him so much that the next day, Daredevil wakes up completely forgetting the last few weeks and with a major brain injury. Tony tells Daredevil that all his bills are paid and he should take some time to rest. He tells him, you're in safe hands. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.